I am Dr. S. S. Patil, Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchin Institute of Technology, Solapur. So today I am going to discuss about design of counterfoot retaining wall. In that, I am going to discuss about part two. So it is mandatory to see the part one before seeing this particular lecture. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students will be able to analyze and design the stem slab of a counterfoot retaining wall. This is a design example. Design a counterfoot retaining wall if the height of the wall above the ground level is 5.5 meter, SBC of soil is 180 kilo Newton per meter square. Angle of internal friction or angle of repose is phi is equal to 30 degree and unit weight of backfill is 18 kilo Newton per cubic meter. Keep the spacing of the counterfoot as 3 meter. Coefficient of friction between the soil and the concrete that is mu is 0.5. Adopt M20 grade concrete mix and Fe415 steel. So the solution for this particular example is divided into five sessions. So the first one is the proportioning and stability analysis of counterfoot retaining wall. This is already dealt in one. So before seeing this second session, please, it is mandatory to see the part one because part one consists of proportioning and stability analysis of counterfoot retaining wall. So without doing the stability and proportioning and stability analysis, we cannot proceed further for design of stem slab. So therefore, it is mandatory to see the first part before seeing this second part that is design of stem slab. So next, I have divided next uh, will be a part three, which, which, which deals with design of toe slab and part four deals with the design of heel slab and the la part 5 deals with the design of counterfoot. So this is stem slab and this is the toe slab and this is the heel slab and this is a counterfoot. This is a counterfoot. Counterfoot is nothing but it is a, a varying depth cantilever beam. This is counterfoot is a varying depth cantilever beam having maximum depth at bottom and minimum depth at top and wherein you will find so we are supposed to in part 5 we are going to see the design of this now today we are going to see the design of stem slab today we are going to see the design of stem slab so this stem slab is nothing but a continuous slab. Now in, in case of counterfoot retaining wall, stem slab is a continuous slab. Whereas in case of cantilever retaining wall, it was a cantilever. It was a cantilever slab. So here it is a continuous slab. So since it is a continuous slab, you will find the maximum bending moment near the support, near the face of the support. The maximum bending moment will be at the near the face of the support that is near the face of the counterfoot. So it is a continuous wall, uh, continuous slab which is resting on these counterfoots. It is a continuous slab which is resting on these counterfoots. So we have to find out the ma maximum horizontal pressure on the stem slab. So maximum horizontal pressure is K into gamma into H1. So this is K into gamma into H1 that is the maximum pressure at bottom. So that is 39 kilo Newton per meter square. So now M is the bending moment. It is WL square by 12. It is WL square by 12 because we have, we have this particular stem slab is a continuous slab which is resting on counterforce. So at the face of the uh, over the support you get this particular bending moment WL square by 12. So it was thought to be 29.25 kilo Newton meter. So MU is 1.5 times M. MU is the design moment. 
so it works out to be 43.9 kilo newton meter so mu limit is determined by using g 1.1 c of is456 if we simplify for the maximum uh, uh, value of x max body then you will get mu limit as 0.138 fckbd square if you substitute the values so we get so d is the effective depth and b is the breadth that is we are considering always 1 meter length so and this is m m20 concrete fck is 20 0.138 fckbd square that gives us 180.57 into 10 to the power of 6 newton mm which is greater than 43.9 kilo newton meter or if you, this uh, 10 to the power of 6 if you just remove it you will get 180.57 kilo newton meter so hence thickness of the stem slab is sufficient now this is the pressure diagram we have just seen and here you will find the pressure is maximum at bottom the maximum at bottom of the stem slab wherein it goes on reducing towards top therefore whatever the spacing we find out for the horizontal steel so that will keep up to 1.5 meter only 1.5 meter from base only and above that we go to the minimum reinforcement we will provide minimum reinforcement because the pressure is uh, reducing when you are going towards top now you will find the mu this is g 1.1 b which is used for finding the area of steel required so mu is equal to 0.87 fy astd into 1 minus ast by bd into fy upon fck so if i substitute the value mu is 43.9 into 10 to the power of 6 and whereas it is 0.87 415u AST we have to calculate 260 into 1 minus AST FY upon BDFCK. B is 1000, D is 260. Now, if we simplify the quadratic equation, we get AST is equal to 486 mm square. So, providing 12 mm diameter bar spacing required will be area of 1 bar into 1000 divided by area of steel required. So, which gives us 232 mm. So, therefore, provide 12 mm diameter bars at 225 mm center to center that is up to 1.5 meter from the base we provide this and then afterwards we will increase the spacing so next we have to find out the distribution steel distribution steel is 0 0.12 percent of area of cross section that is 0.12 by 100 into 260 into 1000 it is 312 mm square using again 12 mm diameter bars spacing required will be area of one bar into 1000 divided by area of steel required we get 362 so provide 12 mm diameter bars at 300 center to center so as i told you already that means uh, we are having 12 mm diameter bars are provided at 300 center to center in both direction on the front side also that is to take minimum steel and it takes care of positive moment at the middle of the section in h is equal to so it is again wl square by 12 29.25 kilo newton meter now check for shear so maximum shear force is at the face of the counterfort it is 39 into 3 minus 0 0.3 that is the clear distance wl by 2 it is 52.65 kilo newton so vu that is the design shear force is equal to 1.5 times v it is 79 kilo newton so tau v is the nominal shear stress tau v is the nominal shear stress which is vu upon bd so it works out to be 0 0.303 newton per mm square the percentage steel we have already provided area of steel that is 12 mm diameter 225 center to center therefore pi by 4 into 12 square upon 225 into 260 into 100 it works out to be 0 0.193 so tau c works out to be 0 0.32 newton per mm square from table number 19 so please remember tau c is to be determined from table number 19 of is456 hence it is safe because tau v is less than tau c tau v is less than tau c so therefore no shear reinforcement is required so increasing the spacing up to 300 
at the height of 1.5 meter since the pressure which is used for finding the bending moment reduces linearly towards the top of the system. That is why up to 1.5 meter we keep the spacing 225 and above that we provide again 300. Now this is the stem slab, this is the stem slab of a counterfoot retaining wall, this one is the stem slab having 300 mm width and it is having a depth of 6.45 meter. Here you will find up to 1.5 meter, it is 12 mm diameter 225 center to center up to 1.5 meter height and then afterwards we have provided 12 mm diameter 300 center to center. And on the other side also we have provided 12 mm diameter 300 center to center. And this projected portion is nothing but uh, uh, it, it is a shear key, it is a shear key to make it safe against sliding, to make it safe against sliding. So this is a review question. The stem slab is a continuous slab supported at counter force whether it is true or false. And the second review question is the maximum bending moment for continuous stem slab is given by WL square by 12, WL square by 8, WL by 4 or none of above. Review answer, the stem slab is a continuous slab supported at counter force, this is a true statement and the maximum bending moment it is WL square by 12. So these are the references used for the this presentation. Thank you.